Fidelity is undoubtedly one of the best brokerage firms that exist today. They combine $0 commissions, top-notch research, and a great mobile app all in one simple platform. Fidelity was also rated as the best app for investing and best online broker for beginning investors in 2022 and 2023. If you're looking to invest into the stock market, Fidelity offers some of the best index funds in existence. In today's video, we'll be comparing Fidelity's most popular index funds, FXAIX and FSKAX. If you're on the fence about deciding whether to invest with FXAIX or FSKAX, here's a closer look to help you determine which one fits your investment goals. If you're new here, my name is Paul and I talk all things money and finance. So before we get into the video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more future videos like this. Before we get into comparing the two funds, let's get into some basics of what an index fund actually is. An index fund is a type of mutual fund with a portfolio constructed to match or track the components of a financial market index, such as the S&P 500. Index funds are generally considered as core portfolio holdings in accounts such as IRAs or 401ks. Even legendary investor Warren Buffett has recommended index funds as a haven for savings for the later years of life. Just buy an index fund and never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore. If you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then, America would progress as it has ever since 1776. S&P 500 index funds, for example, are very popular investments simply because the S&P 500 index has returned an average of around 10% for the past several decades. Now, what is FXAIX? FXAIX is a ticker symbol for Fidelity's S&P 500 index fund, which tracks the S&P 500 index, which is an index that consists of the 500 largest companies in the United States. The S&P 500 is the most followed financial index and is considered the benchmark for all U.S. stocks. Since FXAIX precisely mirrors the S&P 500 index, all of the holdings in FXAIX come from a variety of industries, which helps shield it from long-term market volatility. The fund's goal is to deliver results that are similar to the stocks that are publicly traded in the U.S. stock market. As of this recording, the fund has assets that total $420 billion invested with 506 different holdings. The top 10 holdings in FXAIX include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Alphabet, Tesla, Meta, Berkshire Hathaway, United Health, and more. The fund's 10-year average return as of this recording sits at around 12.85%. Now, what is FSKAX? FSKAX is a ticker symbol for Fidelity's Total Stock Market Index Fund. This fund seeks to track the Dow Jones Total Stock Market Index. FSKAX represents a broad range of performance for U.S. stocks. The fund has assets totaling around $75.9 billion invested with over 4,000 different holdings. The top 10 holdings in FSKAX include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, Alphabet, Meta, and United Health Group. The fund's 10-year average return as of this recording sits at around 12.25%. Now the main question here is what are the differences between FXAIX and FSKX. The most significant differences is that these funds track two different indexes. FXAIX tracks the S&P 500 index, so it mostly holds large cap stocks with a bit of mid cap exposure. FSKIX tracks the Dow Jones total stock market index, so it holds many more mid cap and small cap stocks. That being said, due to market cap weighting, both funds are influenced heavily by the large cap stocks, so there really isn't too much of a difference. FXAIX and FSKX both have a low expense ratio of 0.015%. Now, which one has had better returns? Let's compare. FXAIX was launched back in 1988, while FSKAX was launched on September 8th, 2011. And since then, FXAIX has outperformed FSKAX by around 2% over the life of the fund. If you look at this chart, however, the difference between the two funds are very small. It is very difficult to see any difference between the two funds as many of the stocks in each fund overlap. Now, which fund should you choose? To be very honest with you, choosing between FXAIX and FSKAX might not be the easiest decision because the funds share so many similarities. They're both passively invested index funds, so they won't be affected by one single stock or an aggressive portfolio manager trying to beat the market. Additionally, both funds are under Fidelity, which is the most reputable brokerage firm, and with expense ratios of just 0.015%, it's really hard to choose between the two. To help you decide between these two popular index funds, let's dig a little bit deeper into their differences. First off, FXAIX. 
SKAX holds a lot more stocks than FXAIX, about 4,000 compared to 500 respectively. The larger number of holdings will make it less likely that a couple bad stocks will negatively affect your portfolio. If you're a long-term investor like me, this is absolutely amazing and should give you a peace of mind. A heavily diversified pool of different stocks with a super low expense ratio makes FSKAX a great choice. The small cap stocks inside the fund should theoretically also provide a higher long-term return. This doesn't mean you should count out FXAIX, however. It may contain a lot less stocks, but these 500 stocks are top-performing elite companies in the United States. This means that each stock in this portfolio is highly valued, which is great news for your portfolio. Just like FSKAX, FXAIX comprises of many different stocks, so a couple bad stocks will not overturn your portfolio. Since both of these funds are very similar outside of the number of stocks they track, your best choice will come down to personal preference. If intense diversification is a top priority in your portfolio, FSKAX might be the better choice. If you prefer your investment to only go towards large cap stocks, FXAIX might be the better choice. For comparison's sake, as of this writing, FSKAX has a 13.75% return in the last three years, 11.27% in the last five years, 12.25% in the last 10 years. Meanwhile, FXAIX has returns of 14.59%, 12.29%, and 12.85% respectively. The great news here is that both are great index funds, so there really isn't a wrong choice, just a choice that fits your investing goals. Now, which fund is better? As we covered in the previous section, which fund is better isn't necessarily as important as which fund fits best for your investment goals. Since both funds are operating very similarly and are attempting to minimize risk and volatility, you are not endangering your portfolio by buying into either fund. If you're a long-term investor saving for retirement, both FXAIX and FSKAX will likely work well for you. As you're comparing these two funds, think about how each fund will line up for your own personal finance situation, as well as your future plans and goals. I stress this a lot, but the most important thing is to make Make sure that you're not spending too much time comparing each fund, but really picking one fund and investing as soon as possible to help the magic of compound interest work in your favor. That is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything in today's video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more future videos as it helps me out so much and no cost to you. I have so many great videos coming up, so stay tuned. As always, your life is a masterpiece, so let's unlock your full financial potential together. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. Take care.